Oh, did you hear that? Hey you, it's Katie You, and um, it's finally here. Y'all have been begging me to tackle this topic, and I've been procrastinating it, I will not lie. Because 16 outfits is no joke. 16 outfits is the most amount of outfits I've ever filmed. I don't know when the next time you're gonna get 16 outfits in one video, so you better milk this up. But yeah, today I'm going to be telling you what your MBTI personality type would wear. If it's not accurate, leave a comment down below. Roast the hell out of me. Now, keep in mind, I don't even have 16 friends, so you can't get offended if your outfit is not accurate, okay? This video would not have been possible without Naywai, today's sponsor. Naywai is a luxury loungewear brand that really, really prioritizes women's comfort and creating pieces with fabrics that are designed and made to live in. The reason why I root for Naywai so hard is because comfort has always been a number one priority when building my style. I will never ever leave the house stifled or suffocated. And I feel like Naywai really toggles that line of stylish and comfortable, which is why why it was so easy for me to integrate these pieces into 16 different outfits. Even when nothing on the outside is Naywai, just know that in every single outfit, I'm sporting a Naywai Barely Zero bra, which is the first successful product of its kind. They're made from this innovative cloud fit fabric that stretches and breathes with pretty much every single body type. This cloud fit fabric expands to accommodate any cup from A to double D and up to a band size of 40 inches. I don't see myself in anything else, so definitely keep an eye out for their Barely Zero Line, as well as the rest of the pieces that you see in this video and if you're interested in any of them make sure to check out the link in my description and use my code katie20 for 20 percent off your first new order i got you on to the outfits roast me if you think yours is inaccurate but um i think i did a pretty good job <laughs> all right we are starting off with what is familiar aka my own my own personality type i gotta start off easy okay we have 16 I'm freaking scared. Anyways, I am ENTJ, aka the commander. And so, the only way you can describe commanders is get the hell out of my way. Is there anything today that I ate that wasn't microwave? Well, you fucking donut. Of course you don't put a fucking on a And so I went for an outfit that screams get the hell out of my way via intimidation and sophistication. <laughs> I went for a pretty black dark fit to symbolize efficiency because commanders really prioritize efficiency. Often at the expense of emotions, but that's what therapy's for. That's why I'm going to therapy. I complemented the all black with many daring silhouettes and patterns. So as you can see, there is a statement pattern going all up on the pants. Gold bowl jewelry always screams badassery. That's the rule in my household. I went for a long chain and a thick chain to accentuate the neckline and the crop nature of this fit. And then I paired that with the gold on this lovely chain strap bag. I'm already sweating and this is outfit number one. <sighs> Doing, that was an ugly curtsy, let's do it again. <sighs> I think that was ugly too, but whatever. Now we are almost doing a complete 180 and going to the advocates. But okay, let me roast y'all for a second. They say, they say, they say, they say, the INFJs are the rarest personality types on the planet, but tell me why everybody in the comment section of any MBTI video on YouTube or on Reddit forums are INFJs. Like, why are there so many of y'all when y'all are so rare? Interesting. Very interesting. I went for a very soft but chic look for the INFJs. Specifically, I drew inspiration from Marie Kondo, who is an advocate and INFJ. Something about this muted green and this long dress made me think of her, and I think it just really communicates the selfless but very diligent vibes that the advocate always tends to emanate. To channel the muted mint here, I paired it with this bag, which has little accents of green on the cherry stems. And to symbolize their goodwill and their purity, I went for pearls again. Pearls make any look a little bit softer and bring out the white tones of an outfit more. Next in line, the debaters. I lived across the hall from a debater freshman year and I swear to God, the only thing that ever came out of his mouth was not to play devil's advocate, but... And yes, we had very stimulating, thought-provoking conversations that would last until 4 a.m. when I was just trying to go to the bathroom, but he happened to be in the hallway. Blah, 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 blah. 
I'd say that they're very confrontational people. They're not afraid of conflict. And that's why I went for these incredibly bold patterns and these chunky boots that are not afraid to like to make a point. I honestly admire that because oftentimes I'm the type of person who will like chicken out from an opinion and be like, okay, you're right. Like I'll just shut up and listen. And that dedication and boldness, I tried to channel through this fit. But, uh, yep. It's me. Yep. I win. Yep. <laughs> you lose. Yep. Logicians, 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 logicians. Flexible, creative, curious thinkers. Logicians have so many thoughts. They're analyzing and throwing out so many ideas that they're changing their minds constantly. And I thought that that free flowing state of mind is emanated in the free flowing silhouettes of this outfit. I don't know why I decided to add this sunflower as a prop, but um, curiosity, spending time outside, observing, Nature. I don't know. Next up, we have the Virtuosos, which might I say, this is the comfiest, swaggiest, preppiest, most emotionally unavailable looking fit of this entire lookbook and I stan it. This personality type is actually the one that fascinated me the most when I was learning about it. I was particularly drawn to the gender disparity that the website talks about. Apparently virtuoso women are incredibly rare and if they do exist, like they're often perceived as tomboys from a very young age. Virtuoso people are very individualistic. They do not care about the status quo. So they often make for amazing engineers, mechanics, that total disregard for boundaries and boxes was something that I tried to emanate in the slouchiness and just the comfiness of everything. And like a really irrelevant factor is Michael Jordan is a virtuoso and I was like, okay, let's go for like basketball shorts and chunky shoes. I don't know, I tried guys. Can I hear a little commotion for the dress? Hmm? A little bit? Now let's hear it for the back of the dress. This is the outfit for the entertainers of the world. They are the people meant for the spotlight, constantly breaking out into song and dance, constantly wanting to make people laugh. And so when I read that description, I was like, well, the only thing that is appropriate is a party fit, which... Hello, I'm here! For lovers of the spotlight, you need these huge things that are screaming for people's attention at all times. And this dress does exactly that, so yeah, I don't have much else to say other than break a leg. Protagonists! <laughs> Literally the definition of a main character. Like y'all really got lucky with that name. I went for a monochromatic approach because the great thing about protagonists is that they always lead by example. There are often our society's politicians, coaches, teachers. They're beacons of light and I wanted to emanate that in the very bright tones throughout this whole fit. But then at the same time, I wanted to make sure that the silhouettes aren't too rigid. You can see that it's kind of more relaxed. They're not someone who rules with an iron fist. Rather, they guide people and are good at convincing people to join them. Next up is mediators and when I read the discussion for mediators I just immediately thought art students they're incredibly empathetic sometimes to the point of internalizing other people's problems when they're not their responsibilities but this makes them able to create art that nobody else can because they are able to feel emotions on so much of a deeper level so I went for the quintessential art student fit he. This top is a little sheer, so I'm wearing the Nay bra underneath and you can't even see a thing anymore. Mediators are daydreamers to a fault and what better way to daydream than in a white flowy skirt? But while their head can be in the clouds and they're daydreaming, they can also ground it down and apply it. And so I grounded this whole fit with this denim jacket and then threw on this very, very basic kind of bag that screams like, look at me, I'm an art student. And together it screams both playful, but also incredibly soft and empathetic. I look like I'm about to drop some bars in a historical filibuster on the Senate floor. It's so funny because this dress, I literally bought it when I was interning at a senator's office. At that point in my life, a far off maybe dream was, what if I one day ran for president? And it's crazy because a lot of American presidents actually have the executive personality type, so. Full circle! This pinstriped, tight, chic dress is the absolute epitome of tradition and order and predictability. All things that an executive freaking drools at the sound of. We channel the professionalism vibes down to the freaking toes with the loafers. And I went for this more work appropriate gold and black shoulder bag. This makes me low key like wanna quit YouTube and go back to Capitol Hill. 
Next up, we have the adventurer. And whoa, a lot going on here. Adventurers love to challenge the limits of social convention. And you can kind of tell from the bold fit. Although they're introverted and they're very introspective, they're also incredibly spontaneous, always keeping you on your toes. And I feel like the more you look at this fit, the more you're like, oh, oh. But that's not to say that they're all over the place and they're messy. They still have a level of cohesion, which I tried to channel with the orange from the argyle being matched down here and then the pastel yellow also being matched within the argyle. So there is a pattern. I feel like the best way to describe this fit is like quirky. And I feel like a lot of adventurers would call themselves quirky. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that they're very quirky. Greetings, I am the logistician. If I were to retake the MBTI personality quiz, because I have not taken it since high school and I am not the same bitch as I was in high school, I feel like I'd get logistician. They are dependable, reliable, and they also expect the best and do the best for others and from others. They kind of remind me of like the worker bee mentality. I really resonate with that mindset. I wanted this fit to straddle the line between business and casual, Hence business casual. It's more like a Friday in the office fit, but you get what I'm saying. Logisticians are incredibly dependable and that makes them thrive in organized and hierarchical environments. And I wanted the casual element and also the dependability and the grit to come from these jeans. And then the formal, very capable aspect I wanted to channel with this structured suit jacket and these loafers. So yes, this is the logistician fit. Woo! Next up we have defenders who are often prominent figures in medicine, academia, social work, the fields that benefit the greater good. I had a nurse in mind when I was coming together with this outfit. Not exactly scrubs, but like nurses are very soft, kind, empathetic, caring, and I wanted to channel that in these very chic, very soft lines. I love how the cardigan comes together to cinch and then parts. I feel like it calls attention to the decolletage area, which is a very delicate part. Defenders are also notorious for underplaying their accomplishments, being too humble. And I think the muted tones of this whole fit call attention to that. Defenders, hype yourselves up more often. Y'all are the backbone of this society. Next, we have entrepreneurs, probably the most risk-seeking individuals on the 16 personality spectrum. I went for this bold, but also muted look for the entrepreneurs. I think my favorite quality about entrepreneurs is their incredible perception to pick up on the smallest, most nuanced observations, which makes them so good at picking up trends before they're set. Pairing even these sneakers with something that isn't the typical streetwear fashion, like hoodies and sweats, is something that I feel like an entrepreneur would do. And if there's one thing that entrepreneurs don't like doing, it's blending in, which is why we went for the chunkiest, goldest, jewelry on top of the bold color of red that is sprinkled throughout this fit. And with all those factors in line, I feel like that makes this fit the epitome of smart casual. Let us now welcome to the stage, the console, AKA Miss Congeniality, AKA Mr. Popular, fashionable, sociable, event organizers and planners. They love being appreciated and acknowledged. So given that description, I opted for a mature, cheerleader fit. So the white tennis skirt and the white tank top underneath add the little playful layer, but then I toned it down with a chic blazer as well as gold and black accents. Love it! Moving on to the campaigners who are the free spirits of the MBTI crew. The best way that I can describe campaigners is if they were a hug personified, what hugs would be if they were people. And so I went for a very comfy fit, but there's some symbolism going on. We have a ton of bears on my lovely sweater here and bear hugs are a thing. Campaigners are literally bear hugs. And so yeah, this is my take on campaigners. Comfy and comfortable to talk to and they just make everyone feel welcomed and warm. Last but certainly not least, we have the architects. Architects have a very, very low threshold for bullshit. They don't really do pleasantries, small talk, white lies, because they'd rather focus on expending their energy on like actually useful shit. And so I wanted to emanate that no frill mentality in my fit. We're sticking to very clean cut, simple lines. That is literally like the architect's brain. It's just very simple and efficient. With this white button down and the tapered nature of the slacks, it conveys a little bit of an academic vibe and that's very, very on brand for architects. A lot of them are intelligent AF. Yeah, this is what I would wear if I was an architect. 
And that wraps up the 16 personalities. Were you offended? <clears throat> Leave a review out of five stars in the comments below. I'm very, very interested to hear your thoughts. This video has been something I've been working on for months and months, and I'm so obsessed with personality types and psychology and just learning more about others and how we interact with each other. And so this was a trip for me to put together. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys next week. The gold channels all the way down to my heels. If you look, <laughs> moving on to the campaigner. Moving on to the campaigner. Moving on to the campaigners. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. The most common personality. Bleh. Did you hear that?